Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing Jackie O's Spirit Beast. So this is a really special beer. They actually released this one for their 10th anniversary last year, so at time of recording this has about 10 months of age on it. Now this is a crazy, crazy cool concept for a beer, and this just goes to show you that Jackie O's loves doing a lot of barrel aging and they love doing a lot of blending. So this is a blend of bourbon barrel aged dark apparition con Cognac Barrel Aged Dark Apparition, Bourbon Barrel Aged Brick Kiln, which is their English style barley wine. They threw in Bourbon Barrel Aged Matriarch, which is their trip wipe case, so that's just really freaking crazy. And then this is also partly a blend of their Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Amber Ale. So yeah, really, really looking forward to this bad boy. Just sounds so cool. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh my god, that smells so fucking good. Wow. Up front, really, really like rich, sweet bourbon. A lot of vanilla aspect in there too. Almost a bit of like toasted coconut, a little bit of like an oaky component. Wow, I'm getting like caramel, toffee, molasses, maybe even slight hints of dark fruit in this one. Oh, wow, that smells so good. Wow. Yeah, it's just this really, really intense bourbon, vanilla, again, like toasted coconut up front. Definitely like milk chocolate, dark chocolate, very, very little bit of like roastiness on the back ends. Yeah, like molasses, almost like a burnt sugar kind of thing going on. Lots and lots of like really rich dessert, sweet kind of smelling notes. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely see, you know, the the bourbon dark app. I even get some hints of that kind of cognac sweetness in there. Oh, <laughs> this smells so good. Oh, my God, I can't believe I'm finally drinking this, guys. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it, it, it keeps changing as it even it's setting on my tongue. Oh, my God. So up front, again, lots of bourbon, lots of, like, bourbon kind of sweetness. Definitely getting vanilla, a little bit of coconut, definitely some of that kind of oaky barrel notes in there for sure. About mid-palate, it actually kind of brightens up a little bit. You get more, like, caramel, toffee, and then... Wow. On the finish, it's just this lingering, fudgy, fudgy, brownie, chocolate, bourbon-covered batter kind of thing. Oh. Wow. That's interesting, too, because... On the second sip, and even though this has like 10 months of age on it, I actually get a little bit of almost like a light citrusy kind of note. Yeah, that's really, really kind of cool. I'm assuming that's coming from the, the Barrel Age Matriarch portion. I'm not really sure. There's so much going on in this one too, though. And there's a lot of that kind of rich, sweet kind of cognac flavor on the finish. Again, lots and lots of chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, vanilla, coconut, and then kind of like a burnt sugar molasses kind of thing going on as well. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This is such a treat. You know, it's almost like, I mean, there's that bourbony, there's the caramel notes, molasses, almost like a little bit of like a toffee candy kind of thing going on. Like, this is a lot of really rich, decadent sweet notes to it, but some of that kind of oaky dryness balances it out, some of the char from the barrel, definitely a little bit of kind of the roasted malt note from the Dark Apparition has definitely made it through, which is kind of nice because that balances all the sweetness, and there is still a little bit of like a bourbony cognac, just barrel-aged warmth to this one, 
I mean, wow, this beer is, like, next level, guys, I'm telling you. For whatever reason, Jackie O's, outside of Ohio, I don't think really gets much recognition. I mean, it's almost like our kind of weird little hidden secret here, but holy shit, these guys know how to barrel age, they know how to blend, this is fantastic stuff. It's like full-bodied, creamy, coating, silky mouthfeel. I mean, god damn, this is good. Oh, yeah. It's even kind of got this, like, chewiness to it. This is an absolutely phenomenal beer. One of the best barrel-aged ones from Jackie O's. One of the best blended beers. I mean, this to me is almost like Firestone Walker level of blending because you get each component. There's so many nuances. There's so much complexity, but it all works. There's It's just... Wow, 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 wow. I, I just cannot say enough good things about this beer, guys. In terms of rating, I'm going with a 9.8 out of 10. Absolutely astounding stuff. If you guys have had this one, or if you've had some other beers from Jackie O's, whether they're barrel aged or whatever else, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'd also like to know if you guys, you know, think the same thing here locally. I mean, is it just an Ohio thing or, you know, whatever. But yeah, Jackie O's killing it again. So awesome, awesome stuff. So yeah, just really, really awesome stuff. Again, let me know down in the comments below, guys. Alrighty, that does it for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button for me. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing it involves good craft beer. Cheers.